Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We're going to continue today with the bank barn build. And I'm going to go through some of uh, what you're going to see here on the video. Uh, we started uh, the next process was after we had the deck on uh, and it was capped off. We started by installing uh, the 6x6 six six, uh, posts across the top of the deck. Once we had all the posts up, we had to construct a ramp so that we could get my tractor up onto the deck of the barn. jib pole on the end of the tractor to lift the beams, the six by eight beams up on top of the posts. So um, that was quite a process to get that, um, all that in place, uh, but it went rather quickly. Uh, and after we put all the, the beams on top of the posts, we installed metal brackets that we had made up. We installed those metal brackets and uh, then we moved on to um, making some uh, gussets, some 4x8, 45, we put them on a 45 degree and we gusseted each, each of the beam to post uh, connection to make it uh, nice and rigid. After we did that, we uh, then went, moved to the uh, upper deck, the loft area, and we installed um, two by eights uh, for the flooring up there, the, well, the two by eight joists uh, to support the flooring up top. And then we capped that off, that deck up top there with uh, some one by 10 planking. I think they were like 16 footers um, meeting in the center.
whole upstairs off. Then I think next we did uh, some framing of the walls uh, on the first floor. We framed the walls and the windows, window openings. We got that all taken care of. Um, and after that, we moved to uh, working on the ridge beam. We got uh, supports. It took a lot of uh, measuring to make sure we had the thing perfectly squared off in order to get the ridge beam in the exact proper location. And once we did that, uh, we put some supports and we nailed them in place, just temporary supports to support the ridge beam. And then we made up a knee wall, uh, which gave us, there was two knee walls put in and the distance in the middle of it was 16 foot. So we had 16 foot clear span open in the center. After that, we uh, installed the roof rafters uh, sitting on the knee wall. So you can see how they, they crossed each other and made for a good solid roof. Quite a bit of usable space in the upstairs loft area just for storage. After we got the rafters all up in place, we, uh, we did some uh, one by framing uh, uh, nailers across the rafters that we would be mounting the metal roof to later on. Uh, metal roof uh, had a longer lead time so we couldn't put that up right away but it was on order once we knew exactly how long it needed to be. Then we framed the gable ends. I uh, got that all closed in. Uh, we framed the sliding doors. We made we made the sliding doors for the upstairs all out of rough saw. Uh, I think they were two by sixes framing on the inside and then uh, and then we framed it with one by sheathing rough sawn boards. Uh, once we did that, um, we began siding the the barn and followed that with painting rather quickly. We wanted to get it sealed up right away. After that, got the doors mounted, uh, installed the windows, and that pretty much gets you to the end of uh, where we're at here. So this is where we're going to end this video on the Bank Barn series. We will have one or two more videos that shows the barn to completion, or thereabouts, because it's not done yet, but it's close and we're looking forward to getting back onto some projects like I got here behind me. Uh, this is Brendan's 1940 Silver King that we're working on and have been working on for a while, uh, but it's kind of been put on hold in the last uh, year and a half with the barn project. And uh, we have a 1220 Wallace tractor that we did quite a bit of work on last winter, and I'd like to get that up and running and up to Zagre Farm uh, this coming year. It's not going to be a full-on restoration. It was a tractor that was restored 
um, several years ago, probably 30 years ago, and had been sitting. And uh, we did some quite a bit of engine work on, on it, with including a manifold, um, fixing the exhaust manifold. So uh, we're going to try to get back onto that here before the winter's over, um, now that the barn is uh, almost complete. So that's, uh, that's what we've been up to. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, we hope to upload more videos more often. See you soon.